Hello everyone, and welcome to another Minecraft Bedrock tutorial. In the last video, I had this comment. So, after some uh, faffing about with the redstone, I have created this 3x3 nether portal. I must admit, it's not as quick as the uh, 2x3, but it has a lot more to do, and it is quite nice and compact as well. Before we get started, just make sure that your nether portal leads somewhere safe before building all the redstone contraption, as that can save quite a bit of time. For this absolutely amazing build, you will need 11 sticky pistons, 17 obsidian, 12 of which is for the door, so if you have the door already in place, you only need 5. 6 redstone torches, 9 redstone repeaters, 3 comparators, 1 dropper, 1 hopper, 4 observers, 1 lever, 6 slime blocks, 2 dispensers, 18 redstone dust, 1 bucket, 1 flint and steel, 37 blocks for the redstone to go on, and 25 wall blocks. To get started, place your obsidian like this. Now place a block here and three sticky pistons facing upward. And then three on the other side. There we are. And you can remove that block. Place a block here and one out. Redstone torch here. Block here and block down. Redstone dust on there. Dropper facing this way and a hopper into it. Block underneath it and one to the side with a comparator facing out, observer facing up and a block on its face like that. What you want to do next is come around the back, place block here and one out again, repeat it on four ticks and then another one on two, a block here, one up, one to the side, Rest and dust here. Block down. Repeater set to four ticks. Then a two by six three square a rectangle, sorry, like that. Comparator here and one here. Torches here and here. A block here. Torch here. Place a block here and come out one. Place a bit of redstone facing inward. A torch here. Block here, one underneath, redstone dust, create a little platform like this, and then three under the pistons, place three repeaters facing toward those pistons like this, not like that, like that, and bit the redstone here and here. Then we want to place dispensers facing inward from these blocks here. and a bit of white concrete or whatever wall block you're using in the middle. Now place a sticky piston facing upward from this torch here and observer facing this way with a block here. Next thing you want to do is place a block here and two more, a redstone torch here, two pieces of redstone here. Place a block here, one up Redstone torch, block, redstone dust. Observer facing downward, place obsidian, place a block here, another obsidian, a repeater set to four ticks here. Then place three blocks like this, one, two, three, and place two blocks out. Repeater set to two ticks here, facing this way, and redstone dust all over here like that. Now place two sticky pistons facing this way. They should extend. One, two. Place a torch here. Sticky piston facing downward. An observer facing this way. Place a block on the observer's face. A block here. Another one out here. Redstone uh, repeater on four tick delay facing this way. 
block here, block up, and a sticky piston facing this way with a block. Now place slime blocks like this. Grab your wall block. Surprisingly, you are completely done. Now the last things you have to do is place the floor in here. Place some more concrete or whatever wall block. A lever here and flick it on. Place your water bucket in the right dispenser and your flint and steel in the left. Now to test it out, And flick it back on. Look at that. Fantastic. If any of you are wondering actually how it works, because of the push limit, limit of pistons, you have to do something funny. So if you're trying to actually make this go forward two blocks, you can't just flick this lever because it has too many blocks pushing it. Because it's pushing this piston as well. So you have to extend this one, then extend here, back this one now this one's trying to push but it can't because this one's in the way so you just retract this one as you can see that would extend and then to retract just do a normal uh, double piston extender like that and this is the end of the tutorial thank you so much for watching i hope you did learn something if you did indeed like my design or the video please give us a like and stay tuned for more awesome content with that subscribe button but in the meantime, I'll see you all later. Bye!